Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today is one of those videos I wasn't planning, and here we are. I'm looking at resumes for interns, and I've got three of them here before me. And this is a little video about internship, all right? So I've got three people here, and I've already been notified that two of them are not so interested in traveling very far across the city to come up here and um, do an internship with me and my company. One of them has been specified that they are very interested. So I automatically have the perception that one of them is definitely worth checking into and the other two are possibly not. Here's the other interesting part. You learn a lot about people based on their resumes. So let's see, I've got three of them here. Um, two of them that are not very interested in traveling to come up here and visit me and, and to be an internship I'm looking at the resume and they're very basic um, and that's okay because beginning uh, you know as a biomed it shows you know that they're they're growing but here's the thing I'm reading through these resumes and I see their college experience and their work experience is extremely limited also something that's kind of expected but this is where every little detail will guide you and make you a better candidate so um, I'm not seeing any volunteer experience. I'm not seeing um, a history of work experience, which might be okay, okay? But when you're considering candidates that you're gonna invest time, energy, and money into, every little bit matters. So um, that's the two that didn't want to drive. Let's take a look at the guy who did wanna drive. Work experience. Now, I have no idea who the who this person is, right? Um, they graduated high school in 21, so uh, probably a pretty young person, right? Well, I'm looking at this um, work experience, and let's see. I've got inventory management, uh, a lead man, a carpenter, and a scaffold apprentice. Those are this person just graduated from high school in the last couple years. And I've, you know, I'm looking back at this history. So while they're in high school, I have a history of uh, companies that this person has has worked. I wish I could show you guys uh, this guy's resume because every little detail matters. And what this shows me is this person, the person that was willing to drive across Houston to come up and do an internship with me and my company, they were also employed while they were in high school and while they're in college. And I have a full history on that. And this is a really solid resume. I've got one, two, three, four, five job experiences going back from 2012. That's a long way back. Um, investment into the trades all the way to Amazon delivery driver, which is to present. And uh, that shows me that this person here, this person's motivated. I like that. All right, the other two, bare minimum. Um, maybe they did more in their personal lives. I don't know, but this goes to show you that you should include every single detail, especially when you are trying to get into the career field. I mean, later on, some of that stuff can drop off your resume, but when you are getting beginning, when you're graduating from high school and college, your volunteer experience, any work history that you have, if you worked on a family business, if you volunteered at a certain things like Project Cure, um, guys, there's, there's all sorts of opportunities out there. You should have them listed on your resume in the beginning. As you get going, those things can fall off your resume and you're okay because your work history is the most important thing. But right now, I've got three candidates. One of them is awesome. And the other two, I mean, I, I, I already am developing a perception of their mentality because the guy that was motivated to drive here, um, clearly he's motivated you can tell the other two bare minimum even bare minimum in the resume makes me think they're a bare minimum person now i could be wrong i could be wrong however perception is everything right so my perception is that this guy here i'm gonna make him an offer in just a few minutes the other two i'll talk to him i'll see because maybe they have more experience but right off the bat i look at this paper and remember, when you get started, every little detail matters, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there if you are trying to get into this career field. 
make sure that you fill out your resumes with some detail. All right.